Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go through what I'm taking on my cruise in September. I'm gonna turn on my light, hold on. Sorry, y'all. If y'all can see my mirror in the background. But I'm gonna be taking like my essential makeup with me. Like today, I did this look, and this one would be, or this look would be so good for um formal. And because it's classy and it's not boo bright in your face, and I'll probably take this lip, maybe a red lip to go with this for formal, a matte red. But I bought this um new makeup brush set from Amazon and honestly it's like the oh sorry excuse me it's like the cutest little makeup pouch to take it unc undoes and then you got one big fan brush and then it's just a bunch of like nice nice makeup brushes like this isn't too flimsy like it goes perfectly right here for your highlight or your contour really but it's a um, it's a nice makeup brush set and I actually really dig it I might actually buy another one just to have and <clears throat> I'm sorry y'all but it's just nice quality for something I paid ten dollars for But I love it. And then another thing I'll be taking oh, more another brush real fast is this powder brush that I bought, bought off of Amazon. It's normally like eight dollars, but I paid five. It's the Eco Tools brand, and it's the full powder makeup brush. You'll know, excuse my nails; they're um, kind of atrocious. But this is a full powder brush. Yeah, I love it. And then, of course, you gotta go with a, you gotta go with two foundations at least. So I'm gonna take this one that I have. It's my cheap one. Or I actually might just use this one and save my good ones for the cruise, which is my Rebel and Color Stay and my NYX Total Control. Um. Oh yeah, and that's my cat's pole. It's not a stripper pole, so if I think dirty. But yeah, this right here. Oh, and then another essential. I don't have it in here because I was using it a little while ago. But this is the new collapsible straw trend that everybody's going on. Save the turtles. Yeah. And I really, really, really love my turtle straw. But it's in my mother-in-law's car because I was using it. And it's just got a nice... I'm a, of course, I'm going to put this in my carry-on bag along with my makeup and my makeup brushes. But another... Okay, this look that I did was with this Naked palette by Urban Decay. And of course, I think I'm going to take this because one, it's got all the colors I need. And then I think I'm taking my Too Faced um, Sweet Peach palette just to have some color in my life. But of course, it has nudes and neutrals and good stuff like this. But I love that palette. And then I'll probably end up taking this Stay Cheeky Highlighter Blush and Bronzer Palette from Ulta Beauty. I might take it. I might not. Who knows? But like this highlight, of course, look. It's like my favorite. It's honestly so good. I wore it a couple days ago and I really loved it. Um, another thing blush wise I'm taking is probably this JJ Beauty or JJB Cosmetics blush which is what I'm wearing today and I'm actually kind of living for it. It looks like this. It's in the color Radiant Rose number, or number 2 Radiant Rose. I love it. It's just, um, it's just a light, light pink color. 
Now, one thing I am going to have to take or buy some more of before I go on this cruise is either this powder, which I love. I love both of my setting powders that I have. Is this one, which of course you could tell I hit pan. This is the Elf Perfect Finish HD powder in the color clear. But this powder is just so like silky and smooth. Love. And then the other one, of course, I hit pin on this too. But I bought this back in March, February. When my grandmother passed away. She was on dialysis. I don't even know why I'm covering this. But this is the Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder. And Matt, about you, it's the Take on the Day Mattifying Powder. My bad. But I hit pan, like, bad. And then my niece and nephew were doing my makeup. And they used a shit ton and got, like, real close to the pan. So, like, that's another reason why. But it's a lot. Like, it doesn't... I don't think it would give me a white cast for pictures. It has a little sheen to it, I think. Let me find the hand that doesn't have highlighter all over it, like this one. Yeah, I think it has just a little bit of a sheen to it. And honestly, when I wear it, you can't tell. And then this one... I believe would have like the white cast. <clears throat> I really need one that doesn't have, that will not leave a white cast on me. Okay. Y'all, this one's Elf, this one's Wet n Wild. But I think I'm gonna take both except for Elf gives me more of a white cast than the Wet n Wild. I like the Wet n Wild. No, I can't tell when it's on. But, you know, it's okay. Now I'm going to add a little bit of this Estee Lauder gloss. Yeah, I think it's Estee Lauder, yeah. In the color Flirtatious Magenta. Mm. Mm. Add a little color to the face today. As for primers, I am probably going to take this one, my baby skin, for pool day. For when I'm in the pool. And don't feel like putting on my expensive primer. Because I'm going to mix this one with a little bit of my sunscreen. And put that on and then mix my foundation with my sunscreen so I'm like double protective in case my foundation comes off but I still have that primer that's stuck it's not woo and then for primer I'm probably gonna take my Smashbox little one and put it in my makeup bag or I'm gonna take my milk one and cool in water for when I'm sunburnt and ready to come home. <clears throat> or I have this MAC one. It's a good one. Or I might just take my Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer Smooth and Rose Hip Argan Oil Pore Perfectin. I might just take this one with my milk primer and my baby skin instead of my photo finished. Yeah, I'm probably going to take these two. These three. And now for mascara. I'm taking my Too Faced Better Than Sex Diamond Edition. Balm. As. And then I'm going to take my Revlon. Yeah, my Revlon Vol Voluminous Superstar X Fibers Mascara. It's the one and two step. It's what I'm wearing on my lashes. And it made it look so big. And then as for lip colors. I'm going to take a red. A neutral. A light pink. Maybe a hot pink for the pool. Bam. Because I'm I plan on wearing black bathing suits. 
And then I'm taking another phone case besides the one I have on my phone. <coughs> but this one right here is my life. Like, this one is so, so pretty. And then I have this one on my phone. And I think it's just so pretty, too. It's just, like, this light purple. And it's just so, um, soft. Y'all, soft. Ignore my hands. They look extremely old because of my nails. But this is my favorite Christmas present, by the way, guys. This is my engagement ring. Like, look how beautiful. Oh, my goodness. But, honestly, I think that's all that I'm taking on the cruise. Let me go back through here and look. Oh. And, of course, my concealer. My NYX HD concealer. Um... Yeah, I think that's all I'm taking. I think I'm taking this as my medicine bag. Mine and my husband or fiance's medicine bag. Because he can put his insulin needles here or his um, diabetic pin here. And then, of course, our pill bottles. Yeah, I think I'm going to take it in this positive vibe bag. Is it not the cutest? It matches my... <coughs> okay, it doesn't match it, but it looks similar to my makeup case and it's got zebra print instead of tie-dye and i just thought this was like the cutest it's like a canvasy type so it's easy to clean the inside of it it might need to be cleaned but for now it's cute it works i have all my makeup in it at one point girl that's a lot of makeup Oh, I'm gonna also have this blush on my cake. Take this one too. It's just a sample from Ipsy. It's in the color Zane from Lottie London Limited. And it's just this mauve type. And I actually, hmm, hmm. Do I, do I add some more blush to my face? Yeah, I need some more blush. And it's just like this little single that you can put in a um, Z palette. But I'm probably going to keep it in this. <laughs> so I'm not taking so many palettes. Um, I'm going to go in with my unicorn type brushes. Oh yeah, this is what I am talking about. And hopefully on this cruise I get a little tan. Okay, guys, that is all I'm taking for makeup and phone-wise on the cruise besides my phone case and my charger and my phone. But until then, deuce, y'all.